friends today we will see the uh, complete manufacturing setup in nx now we can see here i am having the my model blank and uh, wise body and wise jaws first of all i will import my model okay uh, see my model is imported then uh, for uh, manufacturing setup we have to go to new okay then uh, go to manufacturing then relations relationship then go to general setup and click on okay Once we entered in, into the manufacturing setup, uh, now we have to call your uh, blank, your Ys, and your jaws uh, in uh, assembly navigator. So uh, for that, uh, go to uh, go to the uh, assembly navigator, then go to the assemblies, then add component. So my I'm adding my blank. Okay, and click on okay. Then uh, sub select object. Then you can see that the preview your your blank is added in your assembly navigator. Then apply okay. Likewise, you can add your uh, Ys body and uh, jaws. Uh, uh, after that, uh, you, you can see here uh, I imported uh, machines also. Uh, now uh, I will hide uh, the machine some parts and I will keep only the, this uh, machine machine bed. Okay, so you can see here uh, I use uh, to make assembly. Uh, so uh, this constraint from here like uh, touch, distance, and center. So uh, my com com complete assembly setup is ready. Now suppose you want to do any changes in your model. So for that uh, I will go to uh, application and modeling. And I will select the move command, and suppose I want to do some changes in this phase, F10 mm, and I will apply on OK. Now you can see uh, if you use the synchronous modeling, as you know, the synchronous modeling is a very power, powerful tool in NX. Uh, I, I offset, uh, I move my phase something, and it will update directly in your assembly. Likewise, uh, I will uh, also do the some changes in my blank, and I will use the same tool, and I will. Now you can see uh, automatically, automatically your blank and wise phases will updated. Okay. Like this, uh, you can see you can maintain the associative between your uh, designer and CAM programmer to easily modify your uh, blank as well as your model as per any design changes. Now uh, our manufacturing setup is ready. Now we will start the programming. Okay, so uh, in program order view, I already created some uh, roughing semi finish and finish. Okay, then uh, machine method view, I already created some tool to generate the tool path. Then uh, in geometrical view, in geometrical view, uh, geometrical view mainly we have to select your uh, MCS. In MCS, you have to select, uh, you have to go in purpose and select the main. And uh, go to feature object and select the uh, zero. Then in workpiece, in workpiece specify specify your part, specify your blank. Then select OK. Uh, in MCS window, you have to uh, select purpose in local and special special output uh, feature offset uh, and feature offset set one and click on OK. And here is a uh, machining method view like uh, mill rough, mill semi finish, mill finish, and drill methods. Now we will start the programming. Insert operation and go to mill control and select the strategy. Redirect your roughing. Okay. Then select the program. I select the program as a roughing. Tool already selected uh, geometry, select the workpiece and method, select the mill rough. Then view the system name, then click on OK. Uh, in mail, uh, in, in main, you have to select the uh, depth per cut. I am selecting the 75% of my uh, fluid, uh, fluid percentage. And, and in bottom of uh, cutting, I am selecting the between cut, cut level options. In geometry, already I, I specified my part, I specified my stock, and I specified my blank. Uh, then tool axis, nothing, nothing, nothing you have to change. You have to give your uh, R, RPM. And your cutting uh, feed, then in cut levels, uh, I'm, I'm selecting the range type, uh, range type is automatic, then strategy, uh, nothing you have to change in, in, in non cutting. Uh, I'm selecting the helical and I'm going to the tools and tolerance, I'm giving the tolerance uh, 50 micron, then I'm generating the program. See, your program is generated. Now uh, we will verify our tool, go to, uh, go to insert tool path and verify. Use three dynamic and play. Now we can see the full path verifications also. And apply OK. Now we will we'll go for the uh, next strategy, like uh, finishing strategy. Insert operation, then uh, go to Z level profile. OK, in program strategy, I am selecting the finishing uh, tool are already selected and work geometry also selected. Uh, method, I am selecting the method. Uh, we finish and system name is dead level profile steep. Okay. In uh, steep contaminant, I'm selecting the none. Okay. Then uh, geometry, uh, I'm keeping the my parts type stock is zero because of this is my finishing operation. Uh, tool cutter combination, nothing I have to change. Then speed and speed, I'm giving the uh, RPM uh, 4000 and uh, uh, cutting speed is 1800. Then cut levels, uh, I want to uh, up to this lower, so I'm uh, ignoring the below depth and giving the depth, depth per cut type 1 mm. The strategy, I'm uh, giving the depth first. Uh, it extends at edges, give the radius of your 
cutting tool. Then I'm on, on this option, like uh, cut between levels. Here, uh, percentage of flat diameter, I am giving 30% to finish my flower. I'm using the arc. I'm giving the tolerance for finishing 10 micron and generate the program. Now you can see the toolpath is generated. Now you can also verify toolpath with the help of this display IPW and you can also play. Now this is your complete uh, dead level finishing operation. Now we'll create the drilling operation. Okay, insert operation. Now you select from here, uh, hole making. Then you have to select the drilling. Uh, I'm selecting like a semi-finish. Okay, I'm selecting my uh, spot drill and my geometry work this and method is uh, drill method. Okay, and so the system name, I'm giving the drilling. Now in drilling, you have to uh, specify, specify feature geometry. Uh, before that, uh, I will hide uh, my blank. Okay, uh, I'll select the features where, where I want to generate the program. While selecting the feature, I'll just keep in mind, your uh, the direction should be Z plus direction only. And uh, I will apply OK. Then I will uh, uh, motion output, I'm selecting the machine cycle. Cycle, I am giving the uh, drill rip. And here I'm giving the uh, dwell time. If you want to dwell time, you can use the dwell time. And here is your depth of cut. Then select, think OK. And, and here nothing, you have to change. You have to change only your uh, RPM and your uh, uh, feed rate and start generate the program. Now you can see your drilling program is generated. You can also see the verifications like this uh, uh, display IPW and you can see the verifications like drilling operation. Now you can see uh, your uh, uh, in, in, in operation in navigator, your program order is ready. Uh, your machine tool is also ready. And uh, also uh, your workpiece is also ready and your method is also ready like roughing, same finish and finishing methods. Now you verify your all part, go to full path and uh, verify. You can also on your blank. And you can analyze uh, your part. Now see your all uh, part is finished. Now this is all from my side, uh, the complete manufacturing setup in NX. Thanks for watching.